Minecraft actually has four different types bookshelves, so let's analyze them all. First, we have the slab shell, also known as the chiseled bookshelf, will be added to Minecraft 1.20, and you can use it to store actual books. That's just a bonus feature. The real use of the chiseled bookshelf is for making art. This is art. In the 20W14 infinite snapshot, throwing a book into a nether portal will turn it into a nether portal. And different books generate different completely random dimensions. These dimensions are cool and all, but what do they have to do with bookshelves? Well, there are a few easter egg dimensions. One of them is the library dimension. Inside, there are millions of these new bookshelves. By clicking on them, you will receive a random book, which is helpful if you're looking for new random dimensions to explore. There's no limit to how many books you can extract from them, which is why they're called boxes of infinite books. In the isolation dimension, there's also a few infinite book boxes in the basement. Next up is the bookshelf. Used mainly for enchanting, this block helps you enchant things. My uncle works at Mojang, and he said I'm not supposed to show you this, but look. We started with one emerald, and now we have three. Of course, we can buy three more bookshelves, get nine more books, and trade them in for nine emeralds. Now you know how to make infinite money. Wait what's that sa- Lastly, we have the lectern. What do you mean I sound different? I just caught a cold. Anyways this villager is exploiting my lectern for his personal benefits so he must be eradicated. Any anyways, the lectern can store one book and you can read it. Most people know you can use it to make secret entrances. But it can also be used for building. As you can see, I use lecterns under moss carpets to make a fancy path for my fancy house. Don't ask what's happening it's not important. In conclusion, 